Hi all. This video lecture is about uh, introduction to servlet. Uh, this is A. Tamilurasi, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC, RMD Engineering College. So what is a servlet? Servlet is nothing but a Java program that runs inside the Java virtual machine on the web server. So whenever the client requests for some information to the server, the server will uh, like process the request and produces the response using servlets. Okay, so this is uh, this servlet is generally used for developing dynamic web applications. So when it comes to the life cycle of a servlet, uh, there are five steps in the uh, servlet life cycle. First is loading the uh, servlet. Second one is creating the instance of a servlet. After creating the instance, we go for initiating the uh, servlet. This is done only once. And then uh, for how many our client request uh, is there, uh, we will be invoking the service method. And finally, after all the client requests are served, then we go for destroying the servlet. So these are the five stages in uh, the life cycle of a servlet. So this is what has been explained here. So when I say loading the servlet, like when the web server starts up, the servlet container will deploy and load all the servlets. And uh, stage, uh, step two is like creating an instance of the servlet. Uh, once the servlet classes are loaded, the servlet container will create the instance for each servlet class. And after the instance is being created, the init method will be instantiated. Then after uh, initializing, uh, each time the web server uh, receives the request, uh, then it will call the service method for producing the response. And when all the uh, requests are uh, processed, finally, when we wanted to go for a shutdown, then in that case, we will be unloading all the servlets and then we will call the destroy method for each initialized servlet. Uh, next is like uh, the servlet architecture. So when I say servlet architecture, the first step is uh, the client will be sending the request to the server in the form of HTTP request. And uh, this is uh, like, uh, it will be uh, sent to the servlet container and uh, the servlet container will load the servlet before invoking the service method. And uh, then the servlet container will handle multiple requests uh, by using multiple uh, threads and each thread will be executing the service method of a single instance of a servlet. So look at the diagram here. Uh, you have a server, web server, and you have the servlet container. And the way on receiving the request, the servlet container will execute the uh, so execute the request by uh, using multiple threads. You can see three threads here, thread A, B, C, and each and every thread will be invoking the service method of the servlet. So service is the method which is used for processing the re client request and producing the response. So this is the architecture. And uh, as I told you, like uh, when the web server is started, the servlet container will deploy and load all the servlet. And once the servlet is loaded, then uh, for each instantiated servlet, the init method will be invoked and the client will be sending the request to the web server in the form of HTTP request. Each time when the web server receives the request, the servlet container will create HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response object. So you all know servlet request object helps you to provide access to the requested information and response object will help you to format and change the response before sending it to the client. And once when all the 
request or processed and then uh, we will be unloading all the servlet and we will be calling the destroy method this is how uh, the servlet works. This is the working principle of a servlet and uh, the life cycle of the servlet. This is one simple program uh, for implementing the servlet. So whenever you wanted to implement the servlet, you have to import the following packages that is servlet.http. So uh, servlet.asterisk is the uh, package which is available in the Java extension uh, package so that we have to import. And uh, for creating the servlet object, you have to extend HTTP servlet, okay? And uh, there are methods like do get, do post. So according to the application, either you can choose do get or you can choose do post. So it takes two parameters, request and the response. Either you, it can be a HTTP uh, servlet or it can be a generic servlet as well. Uh, this is common for both the type of the servlet. And uh, whenever you wanted to, uh, uh, like uh, process the request and produce the response. It is like uh, when you wanted to display it on the browser, you have to set the content type first for the uh, response and you have to get the writer, get the stream to write the data onto the browser that is uh, sending back the response. Then uh, with the print writer, we are printing some information. This is one simple program where I'm going to display a message, welcome to servlet. This is one just print statement. So uh, for that, I'm I'm just using a print writer and the println is the method. Since I'm going to display it in the browser, I'm using the HTML tags and the message is welcome to servlet. And once everything is done, I'm closing the stream. Okay. So this is how a servlet works and the life cycle of the servlet and how you can implement it in Java. Thank you.